Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. Our today's simulation task is going to be very exciting and interesting because in today's simulation, we will link shortcut distillation column with rigorous distillation column. Let me take you to our today's task for simulation that first we will simulate a shortcut distillation column to get initial estimates. Then by using these estimates, we will design rigorous column and we will see whether these initial estimates are enough to meet our required specifications in rigorous distillation column. Then we will do the performance analysis of the rigorous distillation column by using a tray efficiency of 80%. And in number four, we will do the internal sizing in the rigorous distillation column. So let's first read the problem statement that a feed mixture which is in liquid state consists of 50 mole percent propane and 50 mole percent propylene is fed to the distillation column at 5 bar. The flow rate of the feed stream is 1000 kg per hour. It means we have been given vapor value as zero since it's liquid, pressure which is 5 bar, composition 50 mole percent for both and flow rate which is 1000 kg per hour. The percentage of propane and propylene in top and bottom product respectively should not be more than 1%. The percentage of propane in top should not be more than 1 mole percent. It means that propane is heavy key and the percentage of propylene in bottom product should not be more than 1 percent. It means propylene is light key or we can say that the top product which is a liquid state should contain at least 99 mole percent pure propylene which is again showing that propylene is light key and bottom product should contain at least 99 mole percent pure Propane which shows that propane is heavy key in this exercise. The pressure in the condenser is 4.8 bar and in the reboiler is 5 bar. So based on these conditions, we will first simulate shortcut distillation column and then we will move to rigorous distillation column based on the initial estimates provided by the shortcut distillation column. So going to Espen Heises, first we will add a component propane propylene which is also known as propene so add it and since it's a hydrocarbon system so we know that we use Peng Robinson for this system going to simulation and first we will go to separator and we'll select shortcut distillation column and our first task as you know is to do the connections inlet is labeled as feed C duty distillate then reboiler duty is termed as R duty and bottoms. So we have completed all the connections of this shortcut distillation column and our top product phase is in liquid state. Going to worksheet, the vapor value is zero, pressure is five bar, flow rate is 1000 kg per hour and in composition it's 0.5 mole fraction so 0.5 and 0.5 click OK. Now it is asking for unknown key components as we have discussed earlier that propylene is light key and propane is heavy key. So light key in bottoms it means we will label here propene or propylene and here we will label propane. Now going back to our problem statement that the percentage of propane in top should not be more than 1% and same is the case for propylene since it is the percentage purity. So as we know that the same will be counted as mole fraction. It means that the mole fraction of propane and propylene in top and bottom product respectively should be not more than 0 0.01. So it means that the mole fraction here will be 0 0.01 and here it will be 0 0.01. Now the information given about the pressure is that in condenser it is 4.8 bar and in reboiler it is 5 bar. 4.8 bar and 5 bar. So as you see, Espen has given you a value of minimum reflux ratio which is 10.385 and as we have discussed earlier that external reflux ratio is computed by multiplying minimum reflux ratio by a factor of 1.3. So this value comes out as 13.5005 and as you see this bar has turned green means this column has converged successfully. Going to worksheet, as you see in composition tab. The distillate contains 99% pure propene and the bottom product contains 99% pure propane. 
the top product flow rate is 488.5 kg per hour this value will be used in the regress distillation column the flux ratio which is 13.5005 this value will be used in regress distillation column and from performance tab actual number of stages which are 97.255 means 98 number of stages as i have told you earlier that we take one next digit it means that now it's 97.255 means we will take 98 and for optimal feed stage we will take the round off convention means it is 48.628 means 49th feed stage will be used so that's our first part of simulation that we have simulated shortcut distillation column and we will use initial estimates from this column to simulate our regress distillation column now moving to our second task for regress distillation column we will again need feed so what i will do i will just click on it control c and control v and this feed has been generated and you can check that all the required properties are same as that of this feed now selecting the regress column model placing it over here double clicking it first we will name it as distillation column and number of stages are 98 as estimated from shortcut distillation column the feed which is feed 2 is entering the stage automatically at 49 which is again our requirement so doing the connections condenser duty reboiler duty bottom product and the condenser type as we have said in the example that the top product should be in liquid state it means that the condenser type will be total condenser so clicking total condenser and doing the connection as top product now once after doing the connections this next bar has been active we will choose by default reboiler configurations that it's once through and regular hyses reboiler clicking next and we know the pressure conditions that in condenser it is 4.8 bar and in reboiler it is 5 bar clicking next and we do not have been provided any estimates regarding the temperatures of condenser and reboiler and since these values are optional so we will simply click next we know these two values but we will provide these values in other tab click done and go to monitor tab in the reflux ratio which is computed as 13.5005 this was the molar value so we will place 13.5005 condenser and it's in molar while the distillate rate which is also active if you remember the value was 488.5 kg per hour so once after giving this you can see the degree of freedom has become zero so click run and this column is converged so this column has converged based on the initial estimates provided from the shortcut distillation column but our task is to check whether required specifications have been met or not for this we have to go to worksheet and in the composition tab you can check that the top product is 97.4 percent propene while our requirement was 99 percent propene similarly the bottom product is 97.3 percent propane while our requirement was 99 percent it means that the initial estimates provided from the shortcut distillation column are not enough we have been given the values about the field stage the number of stages okay we can take these values but regarding the reflux ratio or the top product flow rate in this case we have to vary these parameters either you can vary these parameters randomly or you can change your design specs what does that mean it means that going to monitor tab we will inactive these two and now the degree of freedom has become two and we will add spec and we will go to column component fraction where we will add the values that in the top product the requirement was that it should be 99 percent pure propylene so first we will go to target type select with stream in stream we will select top product since we need these values in more percent so we will select more fraction and it will be 0 0.01 of propane similarly adding the second value which is for the bottom product clicking stream and draw select bottom product more fraction 0 0.01 for propylene or propene and once you have entered these values this bar has turned green it means it has converged successfully and your required conditions have been met as you see the top product is 99% pure propene 
or propylene and the bottom product is 99% pure propane and the flow rates are same as that of the previous one now we have accomplished our first two tasks that we have simulated shortcut distillation column use the initial estimate to design a rigorous distillation column and we have checked that the initial estimates were partially enough to design but we had to do some changes as well so our third task is to do the performance analysis and for this we will go to the performance tab and we will see that the feed rates and the compositions are given the products and their compositions are given going to the column profiles that the reflux ratio and boiler ratios are calculated over here the temperature pressure flow profiles are given the net draws from condenser are given and from the reboiler are given and their duties are given and the flow into the 49 stages also given over here similarly going to feeds products product is drawing from the condenser side the temperature enthalpy flows over here similarly at the 49th stage where the feed is entering which is our feed stage and similarly for the reboiler side going to the plots you can view various plots of temperature pressure flow transport properties by either clicking view graph or you can select view table to check the trend as well going to condenser reboiler the values of temperature pressure duty and the flux flow rates for condenser and reboiler are given as well now we have to vary the tray efficiency and for this we have to go to parameters and efficiency tab we have discussed in last exercise that for this first we will click all by simply clicking control a and then we will enter the value 0.8 and then we will specify to all the stages and as you see so all the stages have been specified at tray efficiency of 0.8 click run and you can again check the performance that what difference you have achieved over here in temperature pressure flow duties of reboiler and condenser now completing our first three tasks we have to do our fourth task for today that we have to do the internal sizing for the rigorous distillation column as you can see in internal results no information have been present and internal results will not be present unless you have specified internals in your column for this you have to go to this fourth tab internals and as you see it is giving you the information that the column has gaps 1 to 98 this 1 to 98 this means the first stage until the 98th stage there are two ways of doing it either you can click add new and you can specify 1 to 98 stages interactive sizing the internal type as trade tray type or packing type number of passes of this tray spacing diameter either you can specify by this way but i would prefer it that i would cross it and i will do its auto section usually when you do the auto section that it's divide the total column into two parts obviously we know that the section above this feed point is known as rectifying section while this section is known as the stripping section so the automatic section divides the total column into these two sections now as you see internals input completed it means that you have specified the internals from stage 1 to stage 98 if i click it over here and label it to 97 then as you see this column has gap which is the 98th tray which has not been specified over here and obviously our mod is interactive sizing we are currently taking internal type as trade and we are using the sieve tray so click run and after clicking run you can view hydraulic plots over here and once you click these hydraulic plots then you see this column is blue it means that the column has converged successfully or you can say in other words that all the internal sizing has been done accurately if you go to stages with error warnings you cannot find any stage and this is necessary when you do internal sizing of any other column which you are studying now what is this hydraulic plot showing you click here to show legends this blue line this line this shows the maximum entrainment the dotted line which is the black line shows the 100 percent jet fluid this red line represents the downcomer backup if i remove it for instance this line is the red line and it shows 100 percent downcomer backup this pink dotted line shows the zero percent weep this green line which is the dotted one represents the 100 percent weep this 
blue dotted line shows the minimum wear load this line orange line represents the constant v by l and that point which is black point represents the operating point so if operating point lies in this range then it's satisfied but if it goes towards a weep or flooding or entrainment then it will you give you error to either vary space spacing or diameter or you can vary any of these parameter similarly you can click on views internal summary to view that number of stages are 98 total height total head loss total pressure drop number of section number of diameters so these information have been computed by using internal sizing in aspen hisis so that's how you do the internal sizing of distillation column in aspen hisis you can click on transport properties to view various transport properties such as surface tension mole weight density viscosity thermal conductivity heat capacity across each stage similarly you can view various flows over here vapor flow and liquid flow over here as well going back to internal tab and you can click on view to see various information about the hole diameter hole area to active area side down cover width and the various information about the internals so that's how you simulate a shortcut column link it with regress column design a regress column do the performance analysis of the regress column and do the internal sizing of the distillation column so that's all from my side for today's simulation in the next video we will go to much complex systems in distillation column so please do watch the video like the video share with others and subscribe the channel aspentech till then it's goodbye stay tuned